Hey guys, what's up? It's Sarah. So something really annoying happened. I filmed this exact video once already, edited the video, uploaded on YouTube, did the title, description, everything, and then I found out there was shit stuck in my teeth throughout the whole video. And now I have to refilm. But anyway, I finally decided to pull the trigger and cut my hair. Hot girl summer. Six inches I won't need anymore. I've wanted a shorter cut for a long time because I just wanted something easy. Easy to style, easy to take care of. I actually might go even shorter. I just don't want to go that short that fast. But this 90s bob is one of the reasons why I decided to go ahead and do it. I've always loved Chrissy Turlington's 90s bob. It's one of my all-time favorite hairstyles. It looks kind of like Rachel's hair in season two of Friends. All my friends on Instagram were cutting their hair and Chris Appleton, Kim Kardashian's hairstylist, did this Chrissy Turlington inspired bob on her. But a little bit shorter and I was just like you know what that's a sign oh you know who else pulls off a bob really well Lord Farquaad and the lady from and I oop and I oop and I love it so much it's so cute it's so iconic and it shapes your face so well like it doesn't matter what face shape you have it just makes people look at you I'm not that skilled with hair so it took me a while to perfect how to really style this 90s bob and make it last throughout the day especially when you're born with Asian straight hair. So I just wanted to do this mini tutorial to show you guys. It's super easy. If I can do it, you can do it. The only hair tool you really need is a straightener. So yeah, if you want to see how I did all this, just keep watching. You can do this on fresh or day old hair. Today my hair is just air dried. So I'm going to start off with a little bit of the Whey Rose Hair and Body Oil. Two pumps. It smells so good. I just like to put a little bit in the ends. It's a really light oil that doesn't make your hair greasy and it just softens the ends. And my favorite part is if you have any excess, you can just rub it on your shoulders. Next, I'm just gonna brush my hair out. I love using this wet brush. This is really old and disgusting, but this helped me through some dark times when my hair was long and fine and damaged. It was virtually impossible to brush through unless I use this hairbrush. So I'm just detangling my hair before we start. Next, I'm using the Way Memory Mist. It's also a heat protectant. For use before you style, this multitasking priming spray adds heat protection, shine, and long-lasting memory to any look, which is exactly what I need. I've only used this a couple times. So far, I just think it's a pretty ordinary hairspray, but it holds a style and doesn't make your hair crunchy, which is all I'm really looking for in a hairspray. Now, I don't know how to do proper sectioning, so I literally just pick up the top half of my hair. I'm just using a regular ceramic straightener. Every time I've asked a hairstylist how to do this style, they always say just blow dry with a round brush, which kind of makes your hair curl in, but it doesn't last as long and it's not dramatic enough. So what I do is I pick up a strand of hair, start at the roots and do an upward bend. And then I pull up and out. And then let it curl in. See this? The reason why I bend upwards is because now it literally lifts up your root. Let me do another strand. Lift up, pull up and out. And you basically just repeat this with every strand of hair. This world can be so cruel. We have our hands tied. Treat us like we're Now I'm just gonna do the rest of my hair. We can run away to another place. No need to worry. You'll be my safety. We can run away to another place. No need to worry. Escape reality. Now I'm just going to brush out my curls from the inside. This is basically the hair, but if you want a little bit more volume, I recommend putting in some dry shampoo. I'm using the Lush No Drought Dry Shampoo. This stuff I've been using for years. This is probably my favorite dry shampoo behind baby powder. It smells so clean too. Actually, I think I like this more than baby powder. My hair is clean, but this is also really good for adding volume. So I'm just going to rub this into my roots if you want this to last all day i'm going to put a little bit more of that memory mist and if you're going to an event here's a little trick especially if there's going to be flash photography put a little bit of oil on your hands just pat a little bit of oil right in the center 
not too much so it doesn't weigh your hair down but in sunlight or flash photography the midsection is the most reflective part so adding a little bit of hair oil here it's going to really intensify the shine and makes your hair look ultra smooth so look at this doesn't that look like red carpet hair Anyway, this was a super simple hairstyle to do. I hope this was helpful and I hope this is the push you need to finally chop your hair off. But thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, you can subscribe right there. If you want daily updates on all the stuff I do to my hair, because I am very impulsive, you can also follow me on Instagram. Thank you for watching. I hope you're having a hot girl summer. Stay hydrated, drink eight glasses of water a day, wear SPF daily, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!